Hello friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru channel and thank you very much for liking my previous video and thank you for the new subscribers. Now in this video we will talk about working principle of gas turbine. So gas turbine operates on a Brayton cycle which is a constant pressure heat addition cycle that there is a compressor combustion chamber and turbine section is there we have mentioned like this one two three four to describe the individual parts of the cycle so from one to two there is a compressor air is taken from the atmosphere and compressed to a certain pressure for large industrial gas turbine this pressure ratio remains around uh, 11 to 14 or 16 it depends upon the capacity of the turbine so what we can see in the from 1 to 2 there is an increase in pressure so 1 to 2 there is an increase in pressure and that pressure follows that adiabatic compression process and after that uh, air goes to combustion chamber where there is a fuel supply also so fuel is coming and the temperature is uh, high at the discharge of the compressor so when this air mixes with fuel which is injected into the combustion chamber uh, the combustion process takes place for initial process initial combustion start there is a spark plug after that it uh, it is the continuous process so here in 2 to 3 there is a heat addition and after the 3 to 4 this is the turbine section where the work is extracted from those hot gas which is having a high energy content and that that gives the uh, rotation uh, rotating force to the turbine blades and from this turbine blades whatever energy is coming that is used to drive the compressor and the power generator whatever gener energy is uh, uh, given to turbine of 60 percent of that compressor uh, only utilizes remaining only goes to turbine sorry remaining goes to generator so what we saw one to two adiabatic compression two to three constant pressure heat addition 3 to 4 adiabatic expansion and 4 to 1 is constant pressure heat addition so this is ideal cycle we will see in the next uh, page how this is changed to the practical process so this is what we saw in the last slide heat input and heat output is happening at the constant pressure but see what happens uh, in the actual process that this uh, constant pressure heat rejection is not there. So in industrial gas turbine we cannot take the same gases which are coming from the turbine and reuse that because that is already at a very high temperature and here we need the ambient air which is clean enough and cold enough to compress so this heat rejection is happening into the atmosphere not in a closed cycle so this is the difference between the ideal cycle and modified Britain cycle in actual industrial case this ambient air goes to HRSG where the steam generation is happening utilizing this high temperature gas now we will discuss about the efficiency of this uh, Brayton cycle. So what we can see here the efficiency on the y axis and the compressor ratio on the x axis. We can see that efficiency is a function of pressure ratio. As pressure ratio is increasing the efficiency increases. What happens in actual power plant operation gas turbine operation after few operating hours uh, few thousand operating hours of turbine compressor uh, the compressor starts to be fouling that means that air which is coming from atmosphere and passing through compressor 
there are some impurities dust aerosol and other things which deposits on the compressor which led to the losses in compressor and that pressure ratio keeps on falling with a continuous operation so operator has to be vigilant that when he see a significant drop so he need to understand he or she need to understand that decrease in the compressor pressure ratio is directly related to the losses in the britten cycle efficiency so after a certain loss in uh, pressure ratio the machine has to go for a offline or online water wash to regain its lost performance all of losses cannot be recovered but yes few of the losses which are due to the dust accumulation on the compressor plates that may be recovered so this is the formula for britten cycle efficiency calculation here uh, efficiency is equal to 1 minus t1 by t2 is equal to 1 minus p1 by p2 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma and gamma is the ratio of uh, specific heat for air it is the value of gamma is 1.4 so this is very basic fundamental video on how gas turbine operate on a theoretical uh, basis yeah thank you for uh, watching this video i just wanted to cover this section because i received a comment to explain this uh, part of the gas turbine yeah thank you for watching my video please subscribe to the channel to follow same short and fundamental videos on gas turbine thank you very much